G'day guys, Double M Bags. They're great for improving your hand-eye coordination and they're just a whole lot of fun to train with because they've got so much movement going on. Now these bags are not expensive and you can get them for about 20 to $30, including the stretchy cords. But if you've got a set of resistance bands like these, which I had, making this is a piece of cake. <laughs> Essentially, you need a ball like this, which is just a rubber ball, which you can get for a couple of bucks at most places like Kmart. It's got a little inflation hole there. Now make sure to get a little pump like this if you don't already have one. You may need to inflate it if it gets flat. Now you also need a strap to go around your ball to form your anchor points. An old strap, an old tie down, or a bit of strap from an old bag that you don't need anymore would be good enough. Now you'll need duct tape and cloth tape. The duct tape, which is like PVC tape, which stretches, is great for putting all the way around the ball. Now the cloth tape, which doesn't stretch, is what you need for the anchor points to put around there to make sure that the anchor points are not stretched out. Now one thing I've discovered is by using two cords at the bottom and the top, actually it's one cord that goes through two anchor points down the bottom, which I'll show you in a minute, but using two cords like that allows the oscillation to be more consistent and more steady which makes it for a much more interesting much better workout session because you can get a rhythm going a lot better than using just a single cord. Now for my bottom anchor point I'm using two 10 litre water containers and I'm just running a resistance band from the ball down through one of the handles out the other handle and back up to the ball. Now for the top anchor point I'm actually using a double suction cup like this one with a handle. Now, if you don't have a smooth ceiling like mine, you can apply a bit of varnish to an area where you can use suction cups. Otherwise, you'll need to research what kind of attachment you can go and plug into your ceiling so it can hold about 10 kilos of weight. And that's what this is. All right, let's put some gloves on and give it a go. I'm just going to use MMA gloves. Now, the benefit of using a double suction cup at the top is that if one cut comes undone, I'll know about it and I'll be able to remedy the issue. Okay, let's see how this goes. After a while, you get used to the different rhythms of the double end bag. So it might go straight, it might go on an angle, depending on how you hit it. So you can throw hooks and make this thing go around in a circle. Or you could just do jabs straight forward and let it come back. And then depending on whether you hit the top of it or the bottom of it, will make it travel in a different way. So you can see, but that's the challenge, is to try and catch it while maintaining your form. Now you can duck and weave and move closer and move further away. I'm actually loving it. So, there you go guys. Hope you make one of these. And I'll see you guys in the next video.